The natural beauty is breathtaking. They don't set us up in the best conditions. We live in really poor areas of the country, but it really doesn't seem to matter. The language has been hard for me. There were many adjustments for us to make. So many times you, you hit a hole, you, you become depressed. It's so easy just to, to give up and to go home. You have to, you have to have, I guess, something inside that tells you, well, just keep going, keep going. We found it difficult when we uh, first came here to adjust to the new language, but eventually it, it worked out so that we could communicate. You learn that uh, change is a slow type of a process. People are living on a thinner line of existence, and you have to put yourself in, in their shoes. Before I came into the Peace Corps, I taught in a nursing program at a junior college in Wapton, North Dakota for about 20 years. I uh, retired about two years ago and began thinking seriously about the Peace Corps at that time. My husband was still actively involved in his work, but we did begin our application process. Any más niños? One, una. In the nutrition program, probably one of the main things is to recognize the children that are malnourished and treat these children. One of the most important aspects is uh, dealing with the moms, the mothers, and teaching them the importance of proper nutrition so that they can feed their children foods that are high in protein but still low in cost. I joined the Peace Corps because I wanted to help people and I thought coming to a third world country would be the best way to do it. Coming from a Mexican background, I felt I would gain a greater satisfaction working with other Latinos. <laughs> It's really been difficult, especially the Spanish, has been the hard part for us. Um, our instruction has been outstanding. For example, we have a house when we found that we were accepted for the Peace Corps, we uh, sold our house and our car and stored our furniture, and uh, here we are. We have four sons and one daughter, uh, all grown. They were uh, shocked to hear that we had done this because they didn't really expect that we would do anything like this, especially at our age. But uh, after uh, they got used to the idea, they feel now that it's great. Mechanographer? Uh-huh. I do think that we uh, have knowledge and techniques that we can pass on. Muy bien. Es la casa suya. We found it difficult when we first came here to adjust to the new language, but eventually it, it worked out so that we could communicate. Language training is, is really super. You work with um, natives, and over the period of three months, it's amazing the, the amount of language that you can learn. You also provide with them um, good health services. They provide each volunteer with a, a medical kit. For anything serious, you talk to the nurse or you could admit yourself right to a clinic contracted out by Peace Corps. 
Sí, es la casa mía. Muy bien. Repita usted, ¿es la casa suya? The Peace Corps provides the volunteer with a, a wide range of uh, support services. Um, the technical training is probably the most interesting part of your training because you, you want to get out and be with the people. Uno problema que estamos teniendo. Yo, ¿qué, ¿qué es esto aquí? Ah, mire eso. Parece un The work is just general ag teaching what is a fertilizer, how it works, um, why you should apply it. Same thing with pesticides, especially important how to use pesticides safely. Ha llovido mucho últimamente aquí. I'm a part of many people trying to introduce and in the third world countries, um, new varieties of crops um, that have been developed to increase yields and that are more disease resistant. And we are trying to get the people to accept these types of varieties of, uh, of different crops. Assigned to work in a, a cooperative, we're going to open a, a supermarket that will benefit all the people. Foods that uh, the people are unable to get now, fresher food for them. Prices will be lower, more variety. This is the kind of market that uh, we need. I found that you really don't have to be very fluent in the language to communicate. Uh, you talk with your hands, gestures, and I've always been able to communicate with the people. I have three sons and two daughter-in-laws in California. And when I first told them that I was interested in joining the Peace Corps, they didn't think I was too serious. But after they realized I was serious, they were very helpful and uh, very happy for me. It's been a wonderful experience. Two years of the most interesting part of my life. estaba cama necesario para ti quitar polvo antes tu aplicar su tinta. ¿Está bien? Sí. Está bien. Ingeniero, es poco más duro. Older volunteers in third world countries probably have some things going for them because most of these societies tend to be very respectful and, and venerate the older person. Bueno trabajo. Está bien. Está bien. An older volunteer, by virtue of the maturity, will have had a lot of accrued experiences that makes it less likely for them to be surprised and upset by new situations than perhaps someone with a lesser amount of experience. Receiving the attention of an older volunteer and having the opportunity to acquire skills has an immense importance, I think, to these younger people. They're like sponges as far as wanting to have you 
share your experience, share your skill, and they are amazingly adept and quick to learn. All they need is a chance. And when they get that chance, it's beautiful to watch them blossom into people who are more productive in their community, better able to support themselves. When you provide for them an opportunity to sort of bootstrap themselves out of the poverty and the illiteracy that they find themselves in, what happens inside you is not exchangeable for any coin or for any kind of recompense in the world. It's a feeling of great warmth and, and accomplishment. Antonio, antes tu aplique tu tinta. Está bien? Bueno. You've given them a better chance for a better life. Isn't that what we're here for? It's been a wonderful experience. Just a, a wonderful experience. A chance to travel, to see a part of the, another part of the world, and expose people to a little bit of my culture. We've learned to do a lot of things. We've learned a lot about the culture. We've learned how to care for and raise small animals. Our latest venture has been learning how to ride a motorcycle. I am bilingual now. It will help me with the job prospects. We're getting more out of this experience than, than we're able to give. I think Peace Corps is great.